Would your life be different if you did not have a cell phone or internet access? What if you could not play your favorite games, whether online or on a game system? Could you do without using an ATM to get cash or deposit, or driving your car without Sirius radio or GPS? Can you imagine not being able to shop online, but must travel everywhere to find what you want for products, gifts, and services? Would your life be less without your home security, music, TV, and appliances? Would you live longer without MRIs, x-rays, and digital surgical instruments? Life without computers is very hard to imagine. Computer technology is an essential part of our lives in personal use, business and industry, education, and healthcare. The Computer Program Design Program at Flint Hills Technical College prepare students for a high-demand, high-wage career in computer programming. Computer programmers design all program, application, and operating system software. There are very few jobs or careers that do not use some type of computer. Programmers have a nearly constant employment opportunity. A few of those job titles include website designer and administrator, database engineer and administrator, software developer, systems management, game program developer, and application specialist. The CPD program at FHTC has courses focusing on five main career areas. First one is programming languages. Programming languages, which entails Visual Basic, C Sharp, and Java. The programs I teach here are uh, Java and C Sharp. They're two framework-based languages um, they apply most of the rules and concepts that people are using nowadays for most of their programs. And even in working in websites, there's a tag language that students need to know to create web pages, websites. And so it's all about code. And a lot of students don't know that code is what runs our entire world. Second, databases. Database is pretty much the entire backbone of anything that we do in programming or technology in general. I am a database report writer, program analyst one for FHTC. I write reports in SQL Report Builder and form the information out of the Genzobar database. Databases uh, from Access that has Visual Basic behind it and then they also learn the SQL language which is text-based language to do database management. Third, web design. They learn um, Fireworks, Flash, Adobe Edge, um, all the things that animate graphics that would go on a website. Um, I also liked creating the websites. That was, that was a lot of fun to do. In the second year of the program, you go through a web applications boot camp pretty much with Damon. And uh, using that knowledge, I put together a program in my interview that got me the job. They learn about color, they learn about styles, they learn everything there is to know about a website and how to publish it. So small businesses to large businesses can have a web page. Fourth, hardware. Uh, the hardware that they get involved with is when they're in the net tech, three net tech classes that are required. My courses, they learn what the different pieces of hardware do and you know what makes one better than another. Um, how they work together, and um, not only are they, does that give them the knowledge then to understand the hardware better, but they can also repair it, upgrade it, maintain it. So it gives them an extra skill set beyond programming also. Uh, they learn digital electronics, PC servicing and troubleshooting, and networking concepts. So they learn all about the, the boards and the computer RAM and everything that's inside a computer. We all have computers, we all rely on computers every day. And as we all know, they don't work all the time. And the computer is a highly sophisticated marriage of technologies from literally hundreds of different companies all working together in one device. And fifth, gaming. Game design is a mixture of many components. One, they learn the history of how gaming got started. So we see a, uh, many films about the history of gaming. They have to bring in their favorite game and we analyze it. We look at um, the uh, control panel for the game. They look at the, what it takes to be a gamer. 
Even game testers have to know C Sharp and Java to be able to tell the programmers where the errors are. They need to know how many hours it takes to make a game and the deadlines. So they see that also through the films. We also have internships. Internships are provided for the students after they've at least gone through the first year and a half of classes. Then they're eligible to do all kinds of internships. My internship was at Flint Hills Technical College. I worked with Damon Drake. I used a lot of my knowledge that I learned from Java and C Sharp class to fit into a project that we were working on for the school. We've had internships with our school. A lot of our students end up doing an internship in the networking area and learn using databases and everything they've learned. So we end up hiring a lot of our own students. Almost the whole networking program is entirely now controlled with former students. I had my internship here at FHTC. It allowed me to see how a business would use CPD programming in their everyday situations and it allowed me to get the job that I currently have here at FHTC. You may be wondering, how do I know if computer programming is the right career path for me? If you have had ideas of how life could be better for everyone with the use of a new application, or if you enjoy problem solving, math operations, teamwork, entrepreneurial and creative thinking, then this program is an ideal fit for you as a career choice. With a one-year technical certificate option and a two-year Associate of Applied Science degree offered in CPD, Flint Hills Technical College offers flexible training options for students ready to jumpstart their career path. Everybody uses technology and everybody needs computers, so everybody will need somebody like you. Learn more at www.fhtc.edu.